Hi friends. Well, I started my last video standing here in my kitchen in Ajijic, Mexico, doing dishes. And I started it the same way this time for a reason. I got several comments that told me how to do dishes. <laughs> and one of them was, oh, you're doing it all wrong. Uh, you should fill up the sink with water. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Hey Google, what's the per capita usage of water in the United States? On the website facethefactsusa.org, they say, Americans use more water per person than citizens of any other country, 457,018 gallons per head per year. The government estimates each American uses about 100 gallons daily. A <laughs> hundred gallons per day. The point is that I spend four or five months of the year living in a 40-foot um, diesel pusher motorhome. And uh, I have a hundred gallon water tank and I can go boondocking without hookups for about two weeks and that's for two people. So when somebody from the United States <laughs> tells me that I'm washing dishes wrong, you know I've always thought that I would make a video about how to wash dishes in the motorhome. But I never thought that I would be doing it at my house in Mexico but here goes. You have to conserve your um, water and your gas and your diesel fuel and uh, your propane and your battery power, your electricity when you're not in an RV park hooked up to hookups. Um, and the water is one of the very most important things that you have to conserve and there are a whole bunch of videos on YouTube about how to boondock and conserve your water. I know people that live in a van and they don't use any water to wash dishes at all. They use a spray bottle with vinegar and wipe them down. Uh, I see Mexican street vendors who sell uh, street food that don't use any water to wash dishes. They put a plastic bag over a styrofoam plate and when it's turned back to them after someone has eaten, they pull the bag off, throw it away, and the plate's clean for another bag. And they have a big roll of plastic bags just like you see in the grocery department at, uh, at your grocery store. So there are a lot of ways to do dishes besides using a full sink full of water and that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. I start with a can. This is a 303 can and I use a can that had tomato sauce or diced tomatoes something tomato based in the can when I bought it. The reason I do that is because inside the can because tomatoes, tomatoes are acidic, there's a different coating on the inside of the can and they don't rust as often when you use them. So throughout the day, I'm stacking my silverware in the can. And when I get ready to wash dishes, I take another glass or container. This happens to be the metal um, cup off of a malt machine. It's what I use here at home. In the motorhome I have a plastic glass that I use for this. I fill that up with cold water as um, I'm waiting for the hot water to come. And it's exactly what I do in the motorhome because you don't want to waste water. You don't need hot water for rinsing. You need cold water and then as it gets hot, I put it in there, add a little soap, never too much soap. And I'm filling up the can to the top, nice hot sudsy water. And I'll let that set for a few minutes, two, three minutes, as the silverware is soaking. 
and I wash the silverware. And as I wash it, once it, you know, the big things I use this brush, stick it in the rinse thing there. Because it's just the silverware, after it's soaked for a while, it's easier to do it with my hands, and I have discovered that I do a cleaner job if I do it like this with my hand instead of using a brush because I will feel if there's some food stuck on it. Okay, got that. Just a little bit of water for the top of the knife, which is too long. And any suds that have been in there with just that much water have gone out and over. And I put these over here. That's the silverware. Now, so far, I've used this much water. Not a sink full. In the motorhome, I actually use another small dish pan for the final rinse because I do a double rinse. Here, I don't do a double rinse. I actually run water because conserving water here at my home in Mexico is not as big a deal as it is if you're living in a motorhome with a hundred gallon maximum uh, capacity to use. And then I take a sponge, I dip it in the soapy water, and I wash the dishes like this. And I do all of those, and then I get a sink full of dishes to be rinsed. First of all, I don't want to waste this. I'm clean to my hand. I'm, I'm using this. That's what I do in the motorhome, and we conserve water. So I'm not using a sink full, I'm using this much. You know, I didn't uh, originally do that in the motorhome years ago. Um, I learned that from my maid here in Mexico. Because if you're um, a poor person, you do a lot of things to conserve in a lot of different ways. And um, maybe this is important information for people in the United States who um, are amongst the 20 million who have lost their jobs and don't know how they're going to pay their bills. Uh, here's a lesson I learned about living in my motorhome and conserving my propane. I um, was talking to a Mexican friend one day and um, he said that it took him longer to come over to see me because he had to wait for the water to warm up before he could have a shower that morning. And I said, what? explain that to me. And in the conversation, I began to understand that he doesn't leave his hot water heater on all the time. He only turns it on when he needs hot water. And sure enough, before I had uh, the fancy RV I have now, I had an older RV that had a propane water heater. I now have a, it's called an aqua hot system, which is totally different and it's instant hot water and whatever we're not talking about. What I have, we're talking about what my friend didn't have. He didn't have enough money to buy a bottle of propane every month to keep his hot water heater hot all the time. He only turned it on when he needed hot water. Well, that's not how we do things in the United States. We leave our hot water heater on all the time. I've got an 80 gallon hot water heater right over here and I don't turn it off all the time either. Um, because, well, I'm not a poor person. I can afford to buy propane to keep 80 gallons of water hot all the time, even if I'm not using it. Maybe you got an electric hot water heater. 
Ever figure out how much it's costing you on your electric bill to keep 50 or 80 gallons of water hot all the time, 24-7, even though you're not using it? Figure it out sometime. Maybe if you're having to pinch pennies, you might find a lot of them right there. Anyway, the point is that um, I've learned a lot about living economically from Mexican neighbors who do that by necessity. And uh, they don't use full sinks full of water to wash their dishes. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to my friends on the camera. Well, you're doing dishes? Yeah. Wait a minute, you did the dishes this morning. Did you eat that much food that you had to wash all these dishes? Huh? Terry. Busted. What? Busted. Well, you just took clean dishes to, to wash for your camera. Oh my Busted. god. Oh my god. You are, you're a mess. Well, you know, I forgot I was going to make a video about this this morning, and so I did the dishes and put them away, so I got a few. Oh my god. I got a few clean ones out just to make the video. But. Oh, you are crazy. Adios. What'd you say? I want to introduce my buddy to our friends. <laughs> this, is my, this is my good friend that I talk to every day when Jerry's talking to his camera. Really? Yeah. Is it a... Do you want to know my friend's name? Yeah. Pig Cow. Pig Cow? Yeah. And I have a little song I sing to it every day. Well, let's hear the song. How do you do, Pig Cow? How do you do? How do you do, pig cow? How do you do? We are very glad to meet you, but we're going to have to eat you. How do you do, pig cow? How do you do? <coughs> Moo! <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you know what that looks like? What? My hair? No, it looks like the mop. Oh, don't say that about my friend. <laughs> that isn't what I was going to say. I was going to say it looks like Cousin It. Do you know Cousin It? Cousin who? Cousin It. Yeah, I know. Um. Okay. Well, thanks for contributing. No problem. Okay, bye. Bye. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind.